<laughs> Welcome to another episode of Sailing Indiana. This one is a little bit different to our regular episodes. Um, as you can see, we're a little bit tired. We've been up since almost four this morning. And then got on the road at five o'clock. Because we are on the way to the Boat Life event at the NEC in Birmingham. We stopped to go. Yeah, so we signed on again as ambassadors this year. Yeah, we've been told that, you know, well, we were told at the beginning that, yeah, there'll be a lot more there for, sa for, for sailors and things. But then as the sort of shows build up to progress and the advertising and everything, it's all been focused on power boats, inshore, inland, you know, inland boating, and angling and fishing. And everyone we've spoken to in the sailing community have said, oh, look, do you know what? We're, not, we're probably not gonna go this year because it doesn't seem like there's much there for us. Yeah, so I think this is gonna be an honest account of the show and an insider's look from a you know, ambassador's perspective of people who are a little bit closer to the show than you would be just as a, as a punter, as a, as a spectator. Yeah, hopefully you enjoy that look and we can give you an idea of, yeah, is this something that you want to do next year if it's on um, or is it not for you and is it about a different sort of um, boating and, and water activity? So. We shall see. We shall see. All right, we're parked up and we are walking across to the uh, exhibition hall now. So wish us luck. So we've made it to what is day two of boat life for us, but it's day three of the event in total. So it's the Saturday. We went yesterday, drove up, went to the site as you've seen, but we didn't really get a chance to film much. We were non-stop sort of seeing people. We had a couple of collaboration events we had to do with the ambassadors side of things, which was really great because a few people come up to you and um, yeah, you can have a chat about the channel and what we've been doing so far. So it's, um, yeah, it's good to get that feedback and, and interaction with the community. So yeah, so we've rushed out, we got a little Airbnb. <laughs> yeah, we got a little hotel last night just up the road. So yeah, now we're here and um, we're gonna do some more filming today and we're gonna show you what the event is like and what you can expect to find at a typical boat life show event in Birmingham. Right, so we are heading in now and we want to really chat to um, as many people as we can, as many exhibitors as we can, because yesterday, as I say, we, we were sort of rushed all over the place. We weren't really getting that opportunity. So we want to just link in with them and see what their experiences are with the show as well, see how it's been for them this year. That's quite good to get the um, insider's sort of perspective from the, um, from the exhibitors themselves. Yeah, so we'll get some juicy gossip. <laughs> um, stay tuned. <laughs> Right, okay, so yeah, just first impressions coming in and walking down, we've got a lot of the um, inland waterway boats. Well, I guess we're in the inland water boat section, so that's why. But yeah, just actually having a look behind us, you've got um, a company called Onboard Energy. So you've got your solar panels, you've got your Victron uh, chargers and things like that. And they're obviously showing some at the moment, so I won't go and um, harass them. But yeah, it's actually, that's, that's one thing that you would like to see if you were coming here as a sailboat owner or looking to, um, yeah, up your sort of off-grid capabilities um that would be a good good shout to go and have a chat with them and see what they can do for you i don't think we need any more solar panels though no we've got enough that's the lithium ones Yeah, 
yeah so behind us there we've got the inland pub and um yeah it's actually really popular so um i guess you cover a lot of miles you cover a lot of ground when you are at any event and yeah people are getting thirsty So behind us you will see a giant body of water <laughs> and um, it's a swimming pool effectively but today it is being used as an activity pool which is actually a really cool idea so obviously it's a boat show there's a lot of boats and there's a lot of other on the water activities you can do which are kayaking paddle boarding etc this is a chance where you can get on the water they offer you a dry suit so you're not going to get wet and um, yeah, you can have just a, a, a muck about really at your <laughs> at your peril. <laughs> pretty cool idea and different from last year. So yeah, pretty impressed with that. Yeah. So yeah, behind us is the North Sands paddleboard stand and you'll have seen us do a few bits when we were in Sulcombe, um, heading over to Tom's uh, shop there. Um, it's a great brand, really sort of ethically and environmentally conscious just a just a great person and a great great business set up he's um set up right near the pool and yeah what a what a great location for him so yeah we just had a chat about how the how the show's going for him he says not as busy as last year um saturday was his biggest day last year this year um it's a bit slower but we're only at midday so so things could come through for him i'm eyeing up and i think you can see in the background one of those inflatable kayaks because Lauren's got a paddleboard and I kind of prefer the idea of the kayak and getting around on that. So it might be that I take the plunge and buy one of those, but we'll see how the show goes. So one of the main things for us to see when we are at Boat Life is the Rain Marine stand. So we've got a really good relationship with Rain Marine and they've helped us out with a few things in the past, mainly just knowledge and uh, information about what yeah, the things that we need to get us by. So yeah, we always like to come down and just see what the new gadgets are and it's well worth a stop to the Rain Marine stand. The guys are great and they'll talk you through any of it. Um, so yeah, one of the highlights for us. I've just found some toilets and some sea cocks. So that's uh, another thing that relates both to um, yeah, inland boats, motor boats and um, sailing boats alike. Another relevant exhibitor to check out, which is good for the sailing community as well, is Rebel Leisure. Fancy tenders if you're into that sort of thing. So another very relevant and very topical for um, a lot of sailors is Torquedo. So this is um, electric outboards for your tender. It's, uh, there's a hot debate. So whether or not an electric outboard is the way to go, or whether we turn back to Rebel Leisure and get a petrol outboard. We like the idea of being as environmentally friendly as possible and as environmentally conscious as possible, um, in which case then electric is really the way forward. The main rhetoric, I suppose, if you're talking about electric motors, and someone comes along and says, oh, how do you paint your tender on a, an electric outboard? That's really, yeah, what, what we've heard as the strong um, opposition for, for getting one. But if you're thinking, look, you know, I want an environmental option, uh, really, yeah, there's no better option than getting an electric outboard. So it's basically, um, this is exactly like our last video where we showed you all of the active cool <laughs> pillowcases and products. They're so good though. Here they are. Yeah. And then, yeah. So that's... Mattress, like, that mattress, you're going to have to get on it now. Huh? Yeah, you're going to have to get on it.
<laughs> so we've spotted a few more sailing brands. We've got um, got a nice little mock-up of a rig over here. Um, and then we've got uh, Marathon Leisure Limited here. Spotted a life raft. It's the first one I've spotted so far. There's bits and pieces dotted around for the, for the sailing community um, in amongst, yeah. Bits from yeah, bits from the power boats, bit from, bits from the um, inland water boats as well. So okay, we are now getting into power boat territory, sort of power boats and pretty fast and sexy uh, <laughs> end of the market. So yeah, we're um, working our way through and um, seeing what they've got. But yeah, it's a decent selection. That's the sort of thing. It's always food for thought, I suppose. But yeah, not really our end of um, of the boating world, personally. But yeah, it's. So obviously there's a market for it. So and Lauren got a free latte, free coffee, chimney beans. So we're happy about that. Electric outboard, usually you'd have something giant at the back of it in the form of a big battery, but it's all hidden, it's all con contained within it. And I think we're really interested in this. And it's light run time, 2.5 hours. They do an attachment where you can charge it through to uh, DC. This is not bad. We've been looking for something like this, so I think this is, um, this is possibly the way to go. What does Lauren think? I think so, yeah. It's really nice, it's so good. And you can just lift it off electric. and on. You can, that's the thing, it's safer to get this off, this oh, yeah, sort of thing off on your boat. Oh yeah, trying to pull the other one off is just horrendous. Yeah. It doesn't last, so electric, I think, is definitely the way to go. And it's yeah. like, oh, it's environmental it friendly. So we're, not, we're not having to carry around petrol, we're not having to... Yeah, I think this could be something we're interested in, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and the main man himself. <laughs> Running away from us. <laughs> and the stage. <laughs> Um, up you go, pass the mic. Which one? Right, so you're representing the sailing off to Blue, Blue Yonder. And really, I mean, if you can imagine um, coming across a couple of young people who uh, first look for a boat and live your dreams, and this is what you'll be doing, and you get to follow you on, online. Exactly, yeah, it sounds about right. So we are the classic example of breaking away from the London rat race and going, do you know what? I think the idea that I had when I was a kid of living on a boat one day is probably about to happen. So, yeah, so we bought a boat two years ago and it's called Indiana and our channel is Sailing Indiana. Okay, that's the end of it then. Yeah, leave the show and head it back. So, thanks boat life. We'll, um, yeah, I don't know, what's the debrief? I guess, let's have a think. Thank you, cheers, thanks very much, thank you. Thank you very much. I was actually quite surprised. I was actually quite surprised. So, yeah, there's been a lot of talk, as we said, about, you know, is this a sailing show? Is this an angling show? Is this a power boat show? That sort of thing. Yeah, we, we were sort of coming with a bit of an open mind. Yeah. <laughs> right, so I was thinking... Is this right? Yeah, I think I was quite surprised with the amount of... Um, the amount that was there for the sailing community. And, um, yeah, there's... You know, obviously there's no actual sailing boats there that you can walk up to, go on, touch, feel, and, and put your orders in for and purchase. But there's everything else. So yeah. if you have a sailing boat already and you want to kit it out, if you want to get solar, if you want to get some Raymarine equipment, if you want um, a new bedding, yeah, if you want a, a toilet, there's all of that there as well. And then there's the other stuff. There's the fun stuff. There's the paddle boards, there's kayaks and that sort of it. So what we heard before in the build up was like, actually we might be a little bit disappointed about this because we might we might not see the sailing stuff. And we, we heard it quite a few times actually from, from, from people we knew saying, you know, we might not go this year because um, we just don't think it's for us. But yeah, I would say that's, not the case, not, that's not our experience anyway. For us, we were pleasantly surprised and I would say that we're gonna come away from this and encourage people to go next year. <laughs> yeah, because that's at the end of the day, the, 
the review from us is that yeah do you know what yeah if you've got a boat and you're interested in life on the water then this is the place you want to you want to come and check out yeah, it's good. Um, it's nice to meet a lot of young, other like young investors and sort of people that yeah sort of live their life on the water or love the water and I think that sort of community part of it is also really really nice to sort of see it's like it's nice to kind of catch up with different people yeah different people yeah there's like a lot on the live stage actually that's that's a good point isn't it yeah the community bit of it the live stage hearing from other people that aren't necessarily what we're into and what we know about there's kite surfers and there's yeah paddle boarders and there's another sort of side to the community that things actually yeah, it is a bit bigger than just us and our little sailing community so maybe as i said the messaging wasn't quite right then potentially from them because the sailing community felt left out by what they saw online and build up to it so maybe that's our feedback get your messaging right online make sure the sailors know that there is stuff for them here um, yeah, it's very inclusive of all people in the boating community and i think that's what's important and yeah yeah boat life well. Where are we going? and we're lost just trying not to get hit by a car classic influencer with his camera not looking where he's going but oh, i think we're safe enough we've had a good time we've yeah. got smiles on our faces it was worth the trip for us and we hope that we've given you an honest review of what it was like and not just gone oh we're we're you know ambassadors for show we're gonna have to tell you it's a great place to be because we really came here going like do you know what if it's not good we're gonna tell you about it yeah <laughs> informative and yeah. We, yeah you came let us know as we said and if you didn't let us know why you didn't see you, soon. See you later Bye.